Hey guys, it's John. You are on the JRB Tree Climbing Channel and you are on the Knot Tying Playlist. I've answered this question at least a dozen times with personal videos for climbers and the question is always how do I tie a scaffold knot or how do I tie a poacher's knot and what is a fisherman's knot? So let's get into it. On the left is a scaffold knot. It's got these characteristic three turns. On the right, we've got its cousin, the poacher's knot, with two turns. The poacher's knot is frequently called the fisherman's knot, but that is incorrect. I just need you to be aware of that in the event that others refer to it that way. The fisherman's knot is actually something different. It's a bend for joining two ropes, and a poorly named one at that. So let's go with the right names. Poacher's knot has got two turns and the scaffold knot has three and these both can be considered overhand noose knots. This is a double overhand noose and a triple overhand noose and we'll even tie the trivial single overhand noose. The nice thing about using the scaffold or the poacher's knot on a carabiner is that although it cinches very tightly under load it's easy to untie by removing the carabiner. If you remove the carabiner, it simply spills and releases. Same with the scaffold. Simply spills and releases. Okay, now so let's start by tying the scaffold knot. But before we do so, I need you to recognize that internal to the knot, we actually have, for the scaffold, a triple overhand knot. Well, what's a triple overhand knot? Well, we've got a, a single overhand knot. We, we're all familiar with that. A double overhand knot would just be twice around. And that makes a great stopper knot, by the way. Double overhand knot. And a triple overhand knot is three times. One, two, three. Now, why did I take you through all that? Well, it turns out that if you simply reverse the orientation, instead of holding the standing end, as you'd assume, and working with the working end, I'm going to change the orientation. I'm going to hold the tail end of the rope. I'm going to hold the tail end of the rope, and I'm going to go around my fingers three times. One, two, three. And then bring a bite through. Bring a bite through. Dress that out. And I just created a scaffold knot. It's important to inspect the knot from the perspective of the person tying it. If you sent me this picture and said, John, have I tied my scaffold knot properly? I'd say, I don't know. It's difficult to inspect via a picture but it's easy to inspect by virtue of the person tying it in that the tail end can't move. It's bound into the knot. But the long end, standing end, moves through that triple overhand. Okay, I'm gonna spill it. Let's tie the poacher's knot again. I don't want the tail to move, so I hold the tail. That's what you want to remember with these knots. Hold the tail when tying it. One, two, around. That's the poachers. And its cousin, the single overhand noose knot, as you'd expect, is around once. And that's really not good for life safety, but it's adequately secure for a trivial load. Of course, these are all related. Okay, so what about a case where I'm not tying to a carabiner, I'm tying to another fixed object, but I need to go around that object. So here I am standing by the fireplace. Let's say this object I, I wasn't able to go over the top of it. I had to go around it. How would I create a scaffold knot? So I 
select an adequately long working end and I will go around the standing end three times but working back towards the host. So one, two, three, and then I pass the working end back through three strands. One strand, two strands, three strands. And of course, I wouldn't be able to remove it around a real fixed object, but I will, I will show you that, that we've got the very same, very same scaffold knot. Pardon me if I slipped out of field of view, I'm self-filming. All right, let's do that with the poacher's knot. I will go around this time only twice. One, two. Again, now if I cinch that really tight around a host, it's a little difficult to untie. So be aware of that. We really only want to use this around a fixed host in a situation where we're going to leave that tied for a significant amount of time or number of climbs or whatever type of application you're looking at. Now, I'll leave you with one other idea, and that's that these scaffolding series of knots, we could actually put more turns. As you'd expect, the single overhand noose is, is less secure than the double or the poachers and the scaffold is the most secure of the three but we could keep going but, but why would we do so well one reason we might tie a four turn one two three four turn scaffold knot is let's say we're working on an application where we're not exactly sure the correct length. So let's say we're, we're tying a bridge for our climbing saddle and we're not exactly sure how long we want it to be so we cut a, a rope and we err on the side of it being a little long. Well a great way to use up the tail end of the rope is to simply, if you were going to tie a scaffold knot, well, until you're certain of your length, you could chew up a little rope with one, two, three, four, five, never actually tied this in real life, but a five turn scaffold knot. great way to chew up a little bit of extra tail if you're not sure of the length of the rope that you want to tie for specific application. It's obviously extremely strong and you could always untie it and, and try a scaffold knot later and then cut off the tail. I will warn you that if you subject a scaffold knot to an extreme load, an extreme load, it really binds up tightly. I have taken them to the point where they were fused together and I literally had to cut them off a beaner. That was on a strength test, but just want you to be aware of that. They're kind of difficult to work loose after they've received a significant load. So there you have it. The poacher's knot, the scaffold knot, and even the simple single overhand noose knot, the family of overhand noose knots. Happy climbing and let me know if you've got any questions.